man, you know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but... What? What are you talking about? A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. Uh, sure. I, if I squint, I can kind of remember. What about it? Nothing. I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's whatever, that's that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was going to retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the, just picture like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Yeah, I mean, he needed his amp. And it was just a stupid test, so who cares? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? <sighs> of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is going to start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, even if you think the test was stupid, I don't know. Can't help but feel that you maybe should... She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Let's huddle up, see how she's how doing. How can anyone stand and, uh, to listen to me all so day? So give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know... Wait, second brownie? Run, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm, why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but... Uh, sorry, I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. It's huh? been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. Oh boy, thank God for that memory. Yeah, finally something positive jarred loose through all the hysteria. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. 
I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and what? Well, I mean, Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, do you know there's a boat, or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? (laughs) Come on. I was, like, 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Okay, Ren, just... Take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I know you said Ren is like, harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look. I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. There is is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... not, Not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, are. Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's right. Both of you. God, you're like puppies. You're not gonna die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. <sighs> hey, Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... But... You miss the class. Isn't that like the most important part? How do you even learn anything? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So, I learned jumping. That's enough. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so... Well, happy early birthday! 
In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. You gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Jess, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah. I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. What are you... How did she get up there? She's alive. You're, you're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Oh, God, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh, I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. At least, please, some help. Clarissa, can you come down? You can control me? Clarissa. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. Yes, Clarissa, we we are. This isn't trying. You're walking around pointing a radio at things. Might as well be a stick. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Back to normal, I hope? Back to normal? What does that even... How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? There's been, like, time disturbances or something, and I think that's what's been teleporting people around, so... And we just had one. Time disturbances? So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio, and I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new you step... You're not blaming me for this, Clarissa. This is, this is so outside of logic, of reason, of anything that could possibly be anticipated. It's really not her fault, Clarissa. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. 
Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. It was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Clarissa, what? just shut up! Look around! We're not at high school where anyone gives a crap about your pet miseries! Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh, she you weren't there! No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't... I can't believe... Ugh. She is... Seriously, Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't... Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the Alex in free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Yes, I have gotten and presumably will continue to get deja vu. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like cold mouse feet on your skin or something. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. We're gonna try we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? Alex, wanna try and get the key for the gate? You know, the reason we're here. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. <sighs> Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must really? How does it work? Like you just tune into the signal at one of the lockboxes and you're in, I think. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or... Like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just want to... Okay, here. <laughs> Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction. Many truths? Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 
and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You wanna know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you, do you get what's happening now? All right, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kinda encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady, it's like, I'm standing right here. What? Why am I here? What, you don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex, relax. No, why, why am I here right now with you? Because you said, I studied enough for my French test. I want to go to the beach, which I thought was very unlike you, by the way. You made the right choice, Alex. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. This is... Really quite insane what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't think. I don't believe you. So... Uh, <laughs> Are you, like, faking it or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. It doesn't matter, Clarissa. Do what you want. No, it does matter. It does matter. I want you to feel good about the situation, you know? I, I want this to be good. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? 
I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? <laughs>